Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I'm talking about something I'm really excited about, and it kind of bridges the gap between two of the things I talk about on this channel. Well, more than two, but the main two things that I'm about is video editing, filmmaking, and I try to make beats on occasion and play with music. But anyways, I'm not an official musician, but I like creating beats on the MPC one, but I also like listening to music and editing music to B-roll. So I came up with a, an idea. And since Premiere Pro takes audio plugins, I thought, how about I add these Lander Effects Suite plugins to Premiere Pro and try to edit some sounds from or some music tracks from Epidemic Sound? Because there's times where, you know, I get a track and I'm like, you know what? I would kind of want that bass to be a little bit more bumpier. Track is perfect. But then sometimes you just want to tweak it just a little bit. So these Lender Effect Suite plugins came in handy and they were perfect for the job. So let's get into that. Full disclosure, Lander did provide all of this software to me for free. They are giving me an opportunity to um, check out a lot of their functions in their new uh, Lander Studio. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but thank you, Lander. And uh, let's hop into what we're doing today. First, to do this process, I grabbed the track from Epidemic Sound and then I downloaded the stems. And I went back to Premiere Pro, Preferences, Audio Plugin Manager. I scanned audio plugins. I okayed those. Then I went back to my folder and added the stems from the song I had downloaded. I added them to the timeline and then eventually layered them one under the other. And now I'm ready to start using my plugins. So now that we've finished this process over here with these, now we can work on this. So this is another set of tracks I downloaded and if I mouse over them, this one is the stems melody, which has the vocals in it. This one is the bass and this one is the drums and then the instruments. So what I'm gonna do is go to the effects panel and go to audio effects. And then right here you see VST3, click on it and click on effect. You see Lander, all of my plugins for Lander are right under here. So I'm gonna grab, oh no, I'm not gonna do acoustic. Which one is bass? This one, that was bass. So I'm gonna grab the bass, drop it on the, the second one. I'm gonna grab the beats. I think the, this one was the drums, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, <clears throat> the voice was the top one, so I'm gonna put that up here. And the instruments, I'm gonna put acoustic on the instruments. All right. And so what typically happens in Premiere Pro, if you add like all of these right here, these audio effects, you would just drag them and drop them. And then over to the left side in the effects panel or effects control, you will see whichever one you clicked on. It'll you know, since it's just the audio track, there's no video up here. You would see uh, this right here. You see, it says Lander effects or at the top uh, top left. And as soon as I hit edit, boom, the Lander plugin pops up. So what I can do is go and mute all these tracks real quick. So only the vocals are going. So here we go. Hit play. Yeah, we did me wrong. Triple crowns pack, but I'm all right. Gonna let myself let go. I didn't live up to his standards, but he didn't come close to mine. I was too much for him to handle. Yeah, right. I wasn't his kind of a woman. Didn't fit into his mold, but I don't need his approval. 
so he can mind his own I'm blessed like that, cause that feel good in my skin I don't need a man to tell me I'm the shit Thank God that it's over Cause all I need to be is my kind of woman My kind of woman Friday night, center of the crowd I'm forgetting how he did me wrong I'm shooting jack with my ladies Flirting with strangers, baby, I'm in fire now I didn't live up to his standards But he didn't come close to mine I was too much for him to handle Yeah, right Good in my skin I don't need a man to tell me I'm the shit Thank God that it's over Cause all I need to be is My kind of Okay, so I just went through those real quick Just so you could hear like the, the Different effects But I put it at 100 So you can hear it change significantly um, So we're going to close this one out And then we're going to mute that one And we're going to go with Base, so I'm hit edit on base. <clears throat> okay, so base kind of kicks in right here, so I'm gonna put it right here. scooped out electric So in the instance, say I decide that's I decide that's what I want. And then I'm playing it and I just completely change my mind and go, you know what? I don't want that. You know, so let's go back. I go, you know what? I don't want that track. I just go over here to the left and just click the FX button. Turns it all off completely on that track. Yeah, you might not have heard me, but you click the FX button and it turns that whole effect off. And then you're like, oh, well, that's a good way to hear the, you know, the before and after also. So let's go. So there you have it. You can throw your different sounds into Premiere Pro. You can load your, your lender plugins, the FX Studio, and use them in Premiere Pro. Isn't that pretty nice? I know most of the time people talk about using them in like Ableton, maybe Logic Pro, Pro Tools, maybe all kinds of other different audio producing programs, but you can also use them in Premiere Pro, which is a video editing software so if you're editing a video and you want to change up the way the quality of the audio is that you're putting in like say royalty free music from epidemic sound maybe you download the stems and you want to remove the whole baseline 
you want to just use everything else or you want to remove the vocals, but you do want to manipulate the bass line and the instruments and stuff like that. You can go in, take out the vocals of a track, or you can just download the instrumental because a lot of times they do have an instrumental of the same track and you just get the instruments and then you can go mess with the instruments and you can change up the sound of the song altogether for your video. And when people go back and go, that song sounded familiar, but where was it from? You're like, oh yeah, down from Premiere Mix Sound. This is how it sounded like before, but then I used my Lander Effects Pack in Premiere Pro to adjust it, make it sound more the way it was that was suiting for how I was going for the feel of the video. But anyways, if you want to, if you want to check out these Lander effects yourself, uh, you just go to plugins.lander.com and sign up for an account. And the, I think the Lander FX Studio is ninety nine dollars. Yeah, or each one is twenty nine dollars each. And yeah, there you go. You got the beats, the FX Electric, the voice, the bass, the acoustic, or you can get the whole pack for ninety nine dollars. I think the the budget, the bang for your buck is to get the whole pack for a hundred bucks because each one thirty dollars each. After you buy them separately, you spend one hundred and fifty bucks. So yeah, that's all I got. If you like this video, hit a like, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified and uh, hopefully I can have a few more of these videos to post. Who knows? Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.